Hi guys, in this video we're going to see an introduction to momentum. We'll look at a momentum example and then finish with a summary. Now you may have heard the word momentum being used in day-to-day -day life. In physics we say that when something moves it has momentum. So here if this car is moving then it will have momentum and we give the momentum the symbol P. This is all very well but what actually is momentum? Until we write down a proper equation for it, for the rest of this slide you can imagine it as being how hard is it to stop something? If it's difficult to stop it, it's got a lot of momentum. Let's focus more now on what momentum actually is. Momentum is a quantity that depends on the velocity of our moving object as well as its mass. So the momentum depends on, for example, the speed of the car and what its mass is. With regards to the dependence on mass, an object with a higher mass will have a larger momentum. For example, if a car and an aeroplane were both to travel at the same speed, then the aeroplane would have more momentum. And a mathematical way to write down this relationship would be to say that the momentum is proportional to the mass. We also said the momentum would depend on the velocity. In particular, objects with a higher velocity have larger momenta. So if we were running faster, we would have more momentum than if we were running slowly. And again, the mathematical way to write down this statement would be to say that the momentum is proportional to the velocity. Now we have two proportionality rules here, and it turns out we can put both of these proportionality rules into one equation for the momentum. We say that the momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity. As for the units in this equation, the mass is given in kilograms, the velocity is in meters per second, and the momentum is measured in kilograms meters per second. Okay, now let's calculate some momenta. And remember that the momentum increases when either the mass is larger or the velocity is larger. Imagine an elephant is chasing a mouse, and imagine they are both moving at the same speed of 6 meters per second and in the same direction. So they're both moving at the same speed, but if the mass of the elephant is 2,700 kilograms and the mass of the mouse is 200 grams, what are their momenta? Well, our first step, as always, is going to be to write down the relevant equation. We're being asked to calculate the momentum, so the equation we're going to need is the one that we wrote down on the last page for the momentum. And that equation says that the momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity. Our next step is to check the units we've been given. We were told that the elephant has a mass of 2,700 kilograms, which is already the correct units for mass. On the other hand, the mouse's mass was given as 200 grams, but we need the mass to be in kilograms. To get from grams to kilograms, we divide by a thousand. So actually, the mass of the mouse should be written as 0 0.2 kilograms. The velocity, on the other hand, in both cases, is 6 meters per second, which is already the correct units for velocity in this equation. Now that we are happy that all of our units are correct, let's try calculating the momentum of the elephant. The momentum will be equal to the mass multiplied by its velocity, which gives us a momentum of 16,200, and then the units are kilogram meters per second. Our next step is to calculate the momentum of the mouse. The mouse has the same speed, but a different mass. This time the mass is 0 0.2 kilograms, and again, to find the momentum, we need to multiply this by the mouse's velocity, which is 6 meters per second. This leaves us with a momentum of 1.2 kilogram meters per second. Now, comparing these two momenta, we see that even though both the elephant and the mouse move at the same speed, the momentum of the elephant is much larger than the momentum of the mouse, because the mass of the elephant is much larger than the mass of the mouse. The final thing worth mentioning is that the momentum is a vector. It has a magnitude and it is in the same direction as the velocity. And since it has a direction, that's what makes it a vector. So if momentum is a vector, we can represent it with an arrow. For example, for the mouse, 
we know that the mouse was moving to the right hand side and we know that its momentum has a magnitude of 1.2 kilogram meters per second. So the momentum is a vector quantity and this is how we represent it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCSE physics and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Provide smiley face and together let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.